hope you are doing great today we are going to see how you can create social media buttons in blazor web assembly applications or in blazor web in blazor applications in general so there are certain um, requirements that uh, depending do you certain things that you need to do depending on the type of button and how those buttons are uh, implemented uh, we are talking about the share buttons for example the share with Twitter right uh, share Facebook or share with LinkedIn today we are going to see a couple of those so the first we are going to see is the one for uh, LinkedIn so if you are seeing my screen already you will see that in here we have how the um, share button for um, LinkedIn works you see that it is a um, you need to add a script that basically adds the platform uh, script right and then you need to add another script which is the one that is going to render the um, actual button with the data URL that you pass right and then it will basically when you click it you will it will basically open this pop-up right and you see that's the URL and then you can share now there is um, something with that blazor does not allow you to have scripts inside your views so if I try to do this I am actually getting a compile error you see it tells the script element allows authors to include dynamic script and data blocks in their document this element does not represent content for the user and at the bottom of the page it says script tags should not be placed inside components because they cannot be updated dynamically to fix this move the script tag to the index.html file or another static location and then they show you a link now for scripts such as the platform script we can move this to the index.html and in the head right the problem arises when we, when we have the scripts that modify the layout and especially when they modify or create uh, items basically the problem arises when we need the scripts to be exactly in the place where we are going to render the controls right so if I put these scripts in here in a normal application my button will be rendered below that component this below this survey component right <laughs> but I cannot do this in here now I cannot put that script in the head because that's not part of the main body of the page right so I won't be able to see so what do we do in these specific cases so with these specific cases one of the things that you would do is create a custom component where you will render these scripts manually yourself right so what do we do basically you create the control right this is the control and you see that we have it's just a dip that it's rendering the content of this variable which is name buttons buttons content right this buttons content is of type render fragment okay render fragment allows you to basically create um, add HTML right so 
the important part is this see this buttons content right buttons content is just going to return the render button and the render button is a render fragment which consists of a script right which is the platform script if we set this variable to true and it also consists of the script with the data URL which is going to always be there and we return this so you see first if we set the script to add platform script we open an element name script we add the attribute source right with the uh, the source attribute right uh, where, where the script with the script location we add another attribute for the type of the script we close the element right and then we open another element which is a script we add a data URL attribute we add a type attribute and we close the element now we need if we want to use it we basically just use it this way and since this is the first time I'll put this like that right and if I want to render two of those yeah, I'll do this without this now if I run my application I should be able to see the LinkedIn share buttons in my page so you see that here we have two buttons right and if I share it opens the LinkedIn pop-up and I can share so that's for the um, for the shared buttons that render HTML and are not uh, just a link or a dip right so this is a, a special is scenario and I believe it's um, the original LinkedIn share button. It's not uh, implemented following best practices, right? Uh, but that's the way the workaround you have to do with that specific button, right? The other uh, button that you can you will see is this Twitter button, right? This is you can visit this repository in GitHub.com slash E-F-O-N-S-E-C-A-B, right? PTI uploads your components. Okay, now see this is similar, render button, and we have in here this, uh, we open the element, we add um, data text, data URL, data size, the class, the data count, right? and then we add the script now this is because um, I don't know if Twitter actually changed this recently or not but um, the way that this worked in the past you had to execute the uh, widget script after the links right so that they will convert in the actual um, widget representing the button and not being just a simple link so actually let's see if um, here we find how they are implemented nowadays so yeah it says that we create a new anchor then we populate the text we customize it right so okay see 
The step number four is asynchronous, asynchronously load the Twitter for websites, JavaScript using or loading a snippet. So yeah, I believe we still need to to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the way in which you will be able to render scripts that you need to have in a specific section of your page when using Blazor. Remember, since you are not able to use a script tags in here, you need to find another way to render in to render those script tags inside that HTML. Now, personally, I have never been okay with supporting a scripts in a specific page of the HTML. Right? Um, for me, that goes against best practices. For me, scripts should never be executed uh, alone. They should always be in, like, in the head, and they should be invoked when you need them, instead of having the scripts iterate through your HTML and look for keys and classes and things like that. Right? Uh, there may be some cases where you actually need to do that. But in this case, uh, I do not believe it's uh, it's okay to having to have the scripts in this uh, in this place just to render a, a widget, right? But it's the only way that I know so far that you will need that you will be able to do this. For example, with the LinkedIn shared buttons. Of course, you can also use libraries. There was. Uh, a there are actually a couple of Blazor libraries for social media buttons that um, already implement the buttons and you don't have to do all of this logic, right? But this is just for, for you to know like how you will be able to do this kind of things, right? So that's it for now. Please remember, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, like them, and invite more people. Uh, to the channel so we can get more subscribers and we can keep making more videos for you Please let us know in your comments about the systems you are developing with blazer Have a great day